Hi, my name is Pradeep Parkale. Today we are going to see how RLS policy works in PJ Admin. So what is RLS? So RLS is a Postgres security feature. It allows database administrator to define the policies to control how specific rows of data display and operate for one or more roles. Uh, it is like an additional filter you can apply to the Postgres database table. When user tries to perform an action on a table, this filter is applied before the query and after this the data is narrowed down and rejected according to your security policies. So for a demo, I have created one sample table and two user, John and Clark and provided the access of the table to both the user and also inserted data into this table. So here if I fetch the data of this table. Here you can see that I have inserted these two rows. If I set the role to John and fetch the table data, then user John can see all the data present in the table. And same applies to this user Clark. So let's look at how we can achieve the user level security using row level security policies. But only creating the policy alone is not sufficient. We must enable it first. So let's see how to enable or disable the policy. So to enable the policy, go to the properties of the table and in advanced step. You can see this RLS policy. So just enable this. You must have one policy created for, for this table. If no policy created for the table, then default deny policy is used. Uh, it means that no rows are visible or can be modified by, by any user. I can see that there is no policy created for this table. Now, if I go and uh, face the details of this table, so you can see that there is no data available uh, because default the deny policy is ap applied. So let's create a RLS policy first. So these are the options available while creating the RLS policy. The first is the name. This is policy name. The second is a role. Uh, default is public uh, which means that the policy applies to all the database user we can also create a role specific policy to create a role specific policy uh, select the role from the uh, drop down list and third is a type so we can create a two types of policy uh, first is permissive and second is a restrictive policy so permissive the policy are permissive by default all the permissive policy which are apply applicable to the given query will be combined together using the boolean or operator and second is a restrictive policy so we can use this type of policy to restrict access to the table so all the restrictive policy which are applicable to the given query will be combined together using boolean and, and operator The next option is event. The row level security policy can be created specific to a command such as select, insert, update and delete or we can also create a policies for all the command. So these are the commands available. The next option is using clause. Uh, this clause are used to check the existing table rows. Each row is checked against this clause. If the expression return true for any row then that row will be visible else it is not available for modification such row are silently suppressed and no error is reported the next option is with check clause with check clause are used to check the new rows the clause is useful when insert or update operation are performed on the table the row are allowed if the policy expression return true an error will be thrown if, it, uh, if the expression return false 
the last tab is the SQL. So here you can see the SQL for this RLS policy. So let's create an RLS policy. I am giving user specific name here and I am keeping the role as a role as a public and the type is permissive and the event I am creating this policy for all the event so this is an expression so this is uh, this is a SQL for RLS policy So all here represent for all command and public represent all roles. This part is called an expression. It is a filter condition that returns boolean value. So we are comparing in him the value of this column to the user currently connected to the database. So now if I set a role to John and get the details of this employee table so as we can see that current current user which is john can only access his own roles now if i set the, this role to clark and run this select query again so you can see that the user clark can access his own roles so now he can't see the uh, the data of john so this is how we can provide the security to a particular row. Uh, we can also create this RLS policy for particular database uh, operations. Uh, like if you want to create this RLS policy only for insert operation, then uh, just go to this RLS policy. Here in the event, you just have to select the insert. So this RLS policy will be only applies to insert operations. so uh, and we can also disable this rls policy anytime so to so disable the rls policy go to the properties of that particular table in the advanced tab uh, just uh, disable this button now if i go and check the detail of this employee table the user clerk can see the data of the john so that's it from my side if you have any query then you can connect with us on this mail id.